Well, as we do nightly, we are bringing you new information about the crime issues that are plaguing Indianapolis. A recent review of violence in Indy from March 2018 to February of 2020 found around 75% of the victims and the suspects connected to homicides are known to the criminal justice system. Now, this is not new. We've been telling you this for several years now. IMPD says on average, both suspects and victims have more than five arrests each. Fox 59's Courtney Crown, she's digging deeper into this though tonight and she shows us the takeaway from this pretty disturbing information. 296 people were killed between March 2018 and February 2020 in Indianapolis. The National Institute of Criminal Justice Reform analyzed these deaths. The suspects on average were arrested at least seven times by the time of the homicide incident. Homicide victims were approximated eight times prior to the homicide. The report shows 75% of those people either committing the crime or dying because of it are known to the criminal justice system. From a community level, how does that play into people's trust of accountability with the system? And do you do you concern or do you have any concerns about that? Oh, no, absolutely. Police legitimacy is not just a buzzword. It, it, it's, it goes to the heart of what we do. Without people believing that the laws they're following and that the authority they provide in us will work, then the system starts to break down. Every day, the Crime Gun Intelligence Center works to disrupt the cycles of shootings through evidence analysis. CJIC focuses on guns used multiple times in multiple crimes, seizing those firearms and holding shooters accountable. It is a critical tool in combating the violent crime that Indianapolis as a whole is experiencing. Assistant Chief Chris Bailey adds each arrest can be a contact point to change a person's trajectory. He's hopeful the tens of millions of dollars proposed this budget season for mental health resources, more officers, and more violence interrupters will make a difference. We have an obligation not only to put people in jail for violating a crime, those dangerous people, those people that we are scared of, but we have a more important obligation to help those from getting to this point in the first place. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. Courtney, thank you. Now, additionally, that report finds at least 39% of homicides involved groups as victims, suspects, or both. GCIC is keeping tabs on these groups of three or more people who are committing violence. And we'll, of course, continue to stay on top of that as well.